I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the concept of quadratic oblique asymptote. 5.2 oblique asymptotes of rational functions. Question is determine equation of quadratic oblique asymptote. Discuss how the end behavior of the function is related with it. We are given the function y equals to x cubed minus 3x divided by x plus 1. As you can see Degree of numerator is 2 more than degree of denominator, right? Let me write it down. We have degree of numerator is 2 more than the degree of denominator. Since it is more than that of denominator, we don't have any horizontal asymptote. Since it is two more, we don't have linear oblique asymptote. But what we have here is quadratic oblique asymptote. So that is what we have and this is what we are going to discuss in this video, right? So as you can see, degree of numerator is 3, degree of denominator is 1. So if I divide the numerator by the denominator, I will get in the quotient a quadratic equation. So that is the equation, and I have also drawn the function here of a parabola, right? So our function, which is in bold, approaches the parabola as x approaches infinity. And that is what we mean by saying that we have a quadratic oblique asymptote. Well, we'll be very clear about it once we divide and figure out what that quality function is. So we have y equals 2. We will divide by x plus 1, the numerator, which is x cubed minus 3x. So we're missing 0. We'll write plus 0x squared. We are missing one term. So we'll put a placeholder there, minus 3x. And then last constant, let me write 0, OK? as a constant. So when we divide, we can multiply by x squared. We get x cubed plus x squared. And when we subtract, we get minus x squared and bring down minus 3x. We can now multiply by minus x, which will give us minus x squared minus x. That gives us minus 2x plus 0. Now we can multiply by minus 2. So we get minus 2x minus 2 and that gives us a remainder of 2. So we can write our expression y equals to x cubed plus 3x as the quotient which is x squared minus x minus 2 which is a quadratic function plus the remainder which is 2 over x plus 1. Do you see that? So that is how we can write our function. So here we have sketch of the function y which is x cubed minus 3x over x plus 1. Now it will help you to understand how the graph is. Now as you can see the dotted line here which I have drawn, this dotted line is that of the quadratic function x squared minus x minus 2. x squared minus x minus 2 I can actually factor and we can write this as x minus 1 so that means minus 2 2x times x plus 1. That gives us x squared minus x minus 2. We can write it in factored form, which will help you to understand this parabola, right? So we have x intercept as minus 2 and 1, and this dotted line is of the parabola, which is under the curve on this side. Now, as you can see, as x approaches large positive value, then the function is more than the parabola, plus something, right, slight. So the function approaches from the top. Do you see that? So the function approaches this parabola from the top on the right side, correct? So we can see from here that as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches the parabola, which is x squared minus x minus 2 but from the positive side you see is higher by 2 over x plus 1 however small that may be but it's more than this correct 
when x approaches from the negative side, that means minus infinity, then y approaches again the parabola, which is x squared minus x minus 2, but this time from the bottom. You see the parabola is above it because x is negative. So this will be negative, right, from the negative side. So that is the behavior. But important thing here to understand is that the function approaches a parabola as x approaches plus or minus infinity. And that's why we say that we have a quadratic oblique asymptote. I hope with this you understood all about asymptotes, right? So we could have oblique asymptotes. When we say oblique, normally we mean linear oblique, where the degree of numerator will be one higher than denominator. But if it is too higher, we get quadratic oblique asymptotes. I hope that helps. Thank you.